Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. In this part, we're going to be dealing with a safe.php file which will hold all of our users' game data. And we'll also be dealing with the uh, simple navigation of the website. So as you can see here, I'm not logged in. Once I log in, you'll see logged in, this is where the menu will be, and nothing in the content. So now, what we're going to do is take a look at the header. What I'm going to do is, if they're logged in, I'm going to include a safe.php file. Now, this safe.php file is going to hold all of our game data from the database and basically every time we visit a page the information will be updated and luckily it'll be updated before any content so you won't really get anything messy so what we're going to do is create a new file and call it safe.php just to make sure there's no errors we can refresh the page none show up so now what we're going to do is if we head on over to the database there's a stats actually we can take from all four of this so what we're going to do is let's just say stats underscore get this will be the query to get the what should I call it get get all the stats for the player so we say mysql query Oh, sorry. Select asterisk from stats where ID equals. This is just my personal preference of typing things out. Okay. So now we have select all all the stats from that table where the ID in that table is equal to the session ID. Now my session ID is one, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna select everything in basically this row. So you have the goal, the attack, the defense, and the food, since my ID is one. So now what we have to do is we'll say stats equals MySQL fetch associative array from stats underscore get. So now, stats variable is an array that holds all the stats from that database. Hold on, that my throat's been dried up from talking for, you know, like five and a half hours straight. Only because, you know, I'll be talking for like 20 minutes in a tutorial, and I'll be like, oh, well, okay, not 20 minutes, like maybe like five to ten. And then I'll be like, oh, I don't really like how this tutorial part is going. So I just delete the video and start over. I've been doing that too many times. So now we have this, and we're going to copy and paste it three more times. Now the important part here, do not forget about variable names. I'm gonna go over this slowly because if you say stats get here and stats get here, or if you if you mess this up and this is changed, then the whole thing is gonna be screwed up. So now what we have in our database is unit. So we're going to say instead of stats get, it'll be unit get. Remember this part here. Select asterisk from unit, and then the rest of this stays the same for this line. Now this, instead of stats, we're going to have unit. And in this associate right here, we're going to have unit underscore get. Now we have user get and we change from user here, the rest stays the same. User here, and user here. Once more, we have weapon, select from weapon, weapon instead of stats, and weapon get instead of stats get. You can pause the video here just to make sure everything is the same. I'm going to do that right now. I just checked all of that. Looks to be good for me right now. Let me just 
refresh this page to make sure. Oh no, session, I messed up somewhere. See, this is really when it bugs you if you forget something. I had one S instead of twos. My bad, okay, deal with it. So now we have here, and again, no database selected. Why? Because we didn't actually connect. Or, sorry. Let me just calm down and think. I'm tired. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in our page, it's going to look like this now. Session start, include functions, connect, include header, content goes here, and include footer. So I'm just going to quickly change that in the few pages that we have. Luckily, it's not that big of an issue right now. Uh, let's see, login, again, change that here. You know what? Scratch that idea. I know, I would probably restart the tutorial right now, but it's not that bad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. So we're going to just have session start and include header. So now in here, we go here, PHP, and there. Oh, just, oh come on. Whatever. Copy this. Get rid of that. Session start and header. Then we go into header, and we paste that. So in the header now, you will have this segment right here. Include functions and connect. So now, for simple sake, we can get rid of that. Let me just make sure. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Login. That's good. <coughs> Main. We can get rid of that now. And save. So now, we refresh and we get some errors here. And that is weapons get and line 13. Let me just view the source. Uh, yada yada yada. Undefined variable weapons get in safe on line 13. So we go to safe, we go here, as you can see I had weapon, weapons. I did not actually look through it all for whatever reason that S escaped me. Sorry, YouTube, upload and video, Word. Okay, so now, let's refresh this. And hey, look at that, no more errors. So now, okay, just remember, session start, include header. Then in the header PHP file, we have this segment right here. You can pause, make sure your files that need this are like that. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Just to make sure, we'll just say stats and gold. So now we're echoing right here. Instead of logged in, we're echoing the gold that we have. And as you can see, 100 gold. So now that we know it works, we can continue on with the navigation part. Now, what we're going to do here is, I just closed those, so now we can have HTML code. And Requo ampersand R A Q U O colon will go like that. So that's basically how I'm going to be implementing my layout. We have our anchor tags href PHP. This will be your stats. So now that we have that, there, your stats. Sorry about that. Now what we want to do is make that link look a little bit better. So what we're going to do here is go to style.css, go to the navigation, and what we're going to do is <coughs> pound navigation A, this means all the anchor tags in the navigation div will have color of black and uh, I believe it's text. Yes, text decoration, none. This means that the color of the link will be black and there will be no underline. So if we refresh, you can see your stats. You can leave it underlined if you want. That's 
how I'm doing it right now. So once we go back to our header file, you can have things like, um, let me just copy and paste this a few times. There, 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 there. So let's say rankings.php. Now this is going to be, the rankings.php file is going to hold the list of players that you can fight. Here we're going to say units.php and this will be train or this will be your units. Um, and then we'll actually get rid of this and take this main and be log out so we can just log out and let me just add some spacing in between these so now if we refresh the page there there's our navigation not the best but functional except for these three pages which we will continue on in the next tutorial main.php is your stats we will have your stats located here battle players your units Oh, ooh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to add your weapons. So this will be weapons.php. And we'll just, add, and we can leave it like that. So your weapons, you can pause here to copy down the information I just pasted. Okay, so now we refresh this page and you can see your weapons. None of these links work. Well, this one does, but it doesn't display anything. So what we wanna do is display your stats and I'm actually going to cut this short and I will uh, continue in the next video with just displaying the all of your stats so I will see you in the next video